It's the ideal situation because it's, it's, I think most of us feel it's time to end the show. And uh, so it's a happy thing. It's incredible. And to be able to go out on, on our own terms is, is really remarkable. And I think that we're all on the same page about wanting to finish strong and wanting the legacy of the show to be, you know, healthy and strong. I'm really, really, really excited and very grateful to be a part of a show that's got, been on for so long. And the people who watch it, our fans, like when they reach out to us, they're so amazing and they still love it. I'm really excited for this and I'm excited to just like soak everything up. When you realize that it's been a decade and a lot of life happens in a decade and it happens gradually and it's not until you kind of take these looks back, which I guess a lot of this year is gonna be, and a lot of Julie crying. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you, you just, there's huge things that happen, but they happen so slowly you don't even see it until a moment like this. Our show touched on so many different things that people could relate to. Our show's not just about three families. It's about what it means to be a brother. It's about what it means to be a son. It's about what it means to be a parent. It's about what it means to navigate complicated relationships in a family. And it just touches on so many big themes that I think so many people can relate to. We all come from people, whether we like those people or not. We are all part of this human race. I'm gonna be crying the whole season because this has been the role of my life. I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to find a job this special in every way. You know, the character was special for me. Uh, the people that I work with, the actors, the writers, the producers, uh, the crew, the everyone. I think it's going to be hard for me to replicate that again. And so I'm gonna be very sad. I'm already very, very sad. There's just no doubt that the emotions will eventually start hitting. Just the gratitude and the gratefulness that I have overall for the opportunity of the last 10 or 11 years to um, be on a show that's so funny uh, with such good people um, and that, you know, to entertain people. That's all I ever wanted to do was make people laugh. Um, and I just happened to score with Modern Family and the opportunity to make you know people laugh every week for 10 years, 11 years. I am about to watch my season one EPK. This is gonna be like weep fest. Oh, this is gonna be painful. This is gonna be a lot of weeping. Okay, here we go. You just get a dirty text on the top of it. Oh, no. I'm kidding. You can smell the desperation on Phil, which by the way, you know, you can smell on me when I come in a room. <laughs> is there a way to, that I cannot see myself yeah, in the sorry. mirror? <laughs> That's all right. I love how much self-loathing I started with and I still have. Life is imitating art now and it's really helping me get through the hell of having three children. <laughs> Nothing's changed. I definitely feel it's like I've true. been in mom mode for the last couple of years. It's been nothing but leaky boobs and diapers. <laughs> I said these things? My grandpa, who's played and by Ed O'Neill, and, and uh, oh, no. he's, and he's sort of living the life Muriel. with his uh, half of his age younger mama. His hot toxic mama, no. Sophia Vergara. Oh my god, I want to die. I want to roll over. That is not right. I think she's really funny. She's not like me at all, so the Yes, I put on makeup every day. Not a lot. Mm. Not Basically a lot. looks the and same. And I love like More fashion and stuff, like and I don't wear heels old. all the time. I'm like, I'm like a very like down to earth. Oh my god, I just made the same face. I'm from New York, Oops. so uh, <laughs> I'm from the East Village. I'm from the East Village. Who do you think you are? Okay, well this is gonna be so funny. Oh, look at Rico! Oh, oh, oh my god, Rico. Rico. every job that I've oh. worked on. I always get the hottest mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that too. You sure did, Well, buddy. I'm a little offended. I always get the hottest mom. Wow. What a player. Her name is Gloria. She's this, um... um oh, that's wild. Am, am I middle-aged already? No. We are now. <laughs> she's like, well, Her accent is my age. 30-something. <laughs> she's you. Why are my lips so shiny? Sophia Vergara. Vergara? Oh, no. Jesse called her Sophia Vergara. He said my name wrong. Vergara? What the hell is wrong with you, Jesse? <laughs> Sophia Vergara. 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 Who's that? I think he still actually calls her Sophia Vergara, by the way. I know how to pronounce her name now. It's just not very pleasant to look at. <laughs> but it's fine. I don't have a lot of stuff with her. Look how much I'm sweating. Ed, you know, is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu artist. Oh, that shirt. And I told him, I asked him if we got picked up, would he Eric train me? Shirt. You know what he said? 
Absolutely not. Parents give me a lot of advice on like, what is that? Nolan! <laughs> stop, make it stop. What to do, what not to do. Uh, My name is Nolan. Where this to go. embarrassing. Uh, what? Don't point a gun at your face when trying to load it. <laughs> Wait, why do you have a gun? <laughs> Things like that. <laughs> Things that I'll need to know in life. Okay. When are you gonna do that, No. I do not remember myself being like that at all. It's all still true. That is, that is pretty crazy. That's great. Oh my gosh. Oh, that shirt. Weird. That was painful and also wildly entertaining. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, that was a really, 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 really long time ago. That's nuts. It's been incredible watching the kids grow up on the show. I really love these kids, and I'm really proud of who they are. I'm going to be crying the whole season because this has been the role of my life. We really became a family, so I'm going to be very sad. I'm already very sad. I just feel lucky just to be a part of it. I remember when he was that kid you just showed me, and it just makes you realize how quickly time goes by and how fast things speed up. It is family, and they will always be my family. They've, it's been a decade. We've gone through a lot. There's been um, births, marriages, deaths, the whole nine yards, and uh, a lot of life happens in a decade. But they happen so slowly, you don't even see it until a moment like this. You don't walk away from that without leaving a chunk of you behind and taking a chunk of them with you. I call them my fake family, but they are my other family. Modern family getting ready to say goodbye. The award-winning comedy announcing its 11th and final season. The extended family moving on to a new chapter after over a decade of laughs and love. All right, everybody, welcome to the last first, as we are calling it. <laughs> By the way, 10 years ago, we did our very first table read in this very room, and then right afterwards, we went outside, and on my phone, oh. I grabbed... <laughs> Modern Family was born from the notion that families have changed. Chris and I, we were working on a couple of ideas, and we realized that we'd come in on Monday mornings, and one of us would tell a funny story about something our kids did or some sort of thing that happened with our wives or, or whatever it was. And it started to dawn on us that maybe that was more interesting than what we were working on at the time. So we started writing the script. This is the casting breakdown for the Modern Family pilot. At the time, the show was called My American Family. Synopsis, a documentary-style look at three American families, one traditional and two non-traditional. Breakfast! We saw 212 Claire's, 232 Phil's, Do you love it? 228 Cameron's, I know my family's gonna have a big opinion about it. Mitchell, we only saw 110. Oh. Haley, 185. No, little bitch shot me! Alex, we saw 107. Luke, 92, and Manny, 198. Stop the car! And we were already in discussions right from the get-go with Sofia Vergara. I mean, I don't remember seeing anyone on TV that sounded like me. I mean, the last time I think it was Ricky Ricardo. The character was like a passionate woman. You know, she loved her family. And she's loud, and she was, you know, very colorful. And that's how Latin women are. That's the woman that I grew up around. I'll tell you the funny thing. When I met with Chris and Steve, I told my manager, look, this is rude at best, because I'm not doing a half hour, and you know I'm not doing a half hour, and, and I want them to know I'm not doing it. So why so, so am hold I... Hold on, hold on. Before you even go in, you're like... Yeah. Half hour comedy, not part Never of Never again, because I did married 11 years. But I got the script in the mail, and it was so well written. And then I thought, and I read it again. So I called my manager and said, make the deal. We wrote the part of Phil Hi. for Ty Burrell. And we went to the network and said, we want Ty Burrell for this. And they weren't big fans. And I got word that it was basically over. They're not finding you appealing, charming, funny, you know, like uh, basic, basic things of about you personally that they don't like. 
And I said, well, why don't we just show them the way that we think this will actually look? So no jacket. We grabbed a camcorder and created a scene from my life oh! with my son. How that feel, Greg? <laughs> Which I thought was very good parenting. And I think you've learned your lesson. Oh, wow. Okay. You hit my phone. That was an accident. Dad, 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 you have got to talk to mom. She's like completely freaking out and embarrassing me. Well, honey, your mom isn't always as cool about things as I am. Ow! What is with this thing? The network saw it and said, "We get it." All right, good. Go. And that was it. Thank you, Steve. Ed, I think, had been cast. Sophia had been cast. Ty hadn't. Maybe Julie had. Jesse had. He likes to remind everyone he was cast before me. I'm sure he'll bring it up in his interview. I had the pleasure of being cast first. So I got to audition with several people for Cam. And I remember when Eric walked in the room, there was a crackle. And there was something special that happened between us. And to have so many characters in that pilot and have them all perfectly cast was something that was really magical. Which family is this? The Dunphys. The Dunphy family. We are the Dunphys. We are proud. What are, what's our last name? I don't know what our last name is. What's our last name? You're Pritchett. You're Mitchell Pritchett. Yeah, Mitchell Pritchett. 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 Chest bump on three. Oh. We just oh. ran over our director. It hurt. It hurt my foot. They're in trouble. Yeah. We're gonna get fired. <laughs> Scene 11, take one. Yes, Gary, you can get a little tighter when you go to the kids. I hope we do this show for so long. I'm doing scenes with Nolan when he's 31. <laughs> Shooting the pilot was, of course, like any pilot, stressful. Are you ready to get your minds blown? Yeah, I think so. Oh, my dad might be a phenom. How does he do it? We're all in this together. Yes, we are just like us four, but I mean that metaphorically. But I remember saying, this feels good. I think we have something here. I come from a small village. Very poor, but very, very beautiful. Wow! No, kids! It's the number one village in all Colombia for the... What's the word? Murders. Yes, the murders. Sorry. Waka, 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 I was pregnant with twins. Very pregnant with twins. So... There was a lot of laundry baskets, a lot of folding towels, a lot of large sweaters. Come on. Nobody knew. Nobody could tell. It was pretty amazing. We were pretty proud of ourselves. We're getting there. Really? I will take you down to Chinatown. You will not know what happened. That's right. We're here. That was the first day, D. She just checked on us. We're rolling. That you come into my house and you insult me and my... I can't help but think of all the ways we could have screwed it up. <laughs> but miraculously, these ten amazing actors came together at that perfect moment. We found each other and lightning struck. We adopted a baby. Her name is Lily. Turn it off. I can't turn it off. It's who I am. Oh, 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 oh. I was driving down Ventura Boulevard and my phone rang and it came up unavailable. I'm like, oh, I'll answer. Click. Hello? Eric. Yes? Ed O'Neill. I saw the pilot. It's fantastic. Honestly, if this show doesn't go 10 years, I don't know what the hell I'm doing in this business. And from that moment on, I was convinced the show was going to get picked up. I was convinced the show is going to be on for 10 years because Ed O'Neill said so. It is quickly becoming one of the most popular shows on TV. It's Modern Family. You ever heard of it? We shot the pilot and we were all very excited. But I didn't think much about it until it started airing for the first time. And then we realized Oh my God, this is going to be huge. What makes Modern Family appeal to so many people? The show is so incredibly funny. Yeah, I mean, it's been crazy. I, I'm just a blast. I don't know how I ended up in this position, but it's been really fun. It was a hit right from the beginning. And I don't know if there could be another Modern Family today because there are so few shows that collect and unite people like this one.
compliment I always love is it's like you have a camera in my house. That's the one show that my whole family can watch. You know, my 10-year-old sits down with me, my kid in college, he won't give me the time of day. We all sit down and watch it together. Watching Modern Family with my wife. The Romney family, it was their favorite show. Modern Family. Yeah. Yeah. And it was the Obama's favorite show. Malia and Sasha love that show. And when I heard that, I thought, that's remarkable. That show really spoke to both sides. The best in primetime TV were honored at the Emmy Awards last night in Los Angeles. The big winners, Modern Family. Modern Family. Modern Family. Modern Family, the mockumentary about a dysfunctionally funny family, took home top comedy prize. It's amazing, and this is, like, the most important day of my life right now. I made it through a 20-something-year career very skillfully avoiding getting any award whatsoever. And I will say that getting awards is so much better. But the year we won our fifth Emmy Award, there was a collective groan in the audience, so people are like, oh, God, not again. Welcome back to the Modern Family Awards. <laughs> so at that point, we're like, we'll try not to win next year. Just please don't be mad at us. Hey, you guys, you know that picture I showed? Let's recreate it right now. Can we do that? This is the end of an era for us. Eleven years is such a huge part of anyone's life. Okay, here we go. Let's take a bunch of these. Ending that is it's hard to think about. Pepper Saltzman. When the show oh. is a successful show, it's easy. I command you to circus. To get really good actors. Oh, vroom, vroom. Oh, my God, you're Ray Liotta. Wow. Billy D. Williams? I'm a huge fan. Because they want to do funny parts and they want to watch and be amazed. Enjoy some good writing. I walk five miles a day and I've had a tremendous amount of plastic surgery. Modern Family was a class act and people wanted to come play. I am the evil boy king and I want your head. It's like a train of car. He's like the least gay person I have ever met. Have you ever touched the smooth, taut skin of a 48-year-old woman? About to ask you the same thing. He's the winner. When I got invited to become part of the show, I was thrilled. And I was also a little bit nervous. Wow, that's close. This was the biggest and best party in town. And everyone at that party knew it. Be Mark. He's here! He's here! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Haley, get in here! I'm good, thanks. No, we're not gonna let go of each other until you get in here. Haley, get in the hug. Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> right. Sure, but who needs a hug when you can? Manshake! The virtue of the style of the show is the simplicity it creates keeps everything fresh and funny for the actors. And I would hear stories where it was like the envy of other shows on the lot because, oh, Modern Family finished by lunch again. All right, here we go, guys. Trey, you good? Yeah, ready. Here we go. The show moves fast. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I mean, it is the, it's probably the fastest run single camera show there is. Okay, here we go. We'll do a quick rehearsal. We show it to the crew. Hey guys, I need a 10, 20 of your please. They light, and then as soon as the cast comes back in, we start shooting. When you walk on the set of Minor Family, it is a team, it is a family. We all want to make this every single episode as good as it can be. I think it's definitely funnier to play. The way that we shoot, it helps the comedy because you you do feel like you've got time to improvise and do multiple takes. Everybody around you, if you're going to try diff some alts or something at the end of the day, the end of the day is three in the afternoon or maybe six, you know, people are still fine. They're like, yeah, try new stuff. But some, sometimes you've been on, I've been on a film set and it's two in the morning and you're like, I've got an idea for a new line. And, and you're getting this like from the boom guy, just like, damn it. We, it's not, it was never funny. 
It's not going to be funnier. I cannot okay. believe that there are three active documentaries right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most meta so, so, thing like, I don't understand. Yeah. There, there's a documentary, documentary <laughs> of a documentary <laughs> on the show that's a documentary. <laughs> 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 This show, Modern Family, is so beloved by so many Americans. Um, are you and Ty still getting along? Uh, no. No? <laughs> I'd like to discuss it right now. No, we get along famously. Yeah, no, we are fantastic He's, he's like the nicest guy in the whole he world. He is. He makes me feel bad for most of what I do. Actron 2000. Ty is one of those magical beasts. He's not only a good person. Oh. <laughs> He's funny, he's serious, he's soulful, he's kind, he's just the greatest. And Ty will always surprise me with what comes out of his mouth or what he's gonna do with his body. Of course, power of social. Oh, I'm to know my your stomach. stomach? Yes. Oh my God, that was an amazing sound. It was... It really... Hold for Ty's stomach, please. Holding. Holding for oh. Ty's digestive tract. Like as soon as they say action, <laughs> it's always fun. I've never had a bad time doing a scene on this show. Unless it's physically painful. And even that, I'm weird. I like that. I like falling. Oh. Way down. Oh, God. Also, it took him about six years to let me know in a very gentle way I need to stop talking right before takes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'd be talking, 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 action. And he's like... It's impossible. I'm ready. Okay. Go ahead. So I owe him probably six years of scenes. Um, now it's fine. From the very beginning, we both were working hard to be a good work partner. And I think and I hope that that translates, you know, that the fact that we do actually trust each other and know each other pretty well, that if we didn't, it would show We've seen the best and worst of each other in 11 years, and I just feel lucky to have had a work partner like that. I'm feeling a little bit of melancholy as this comes to an end, because I know these last few episodes is going to be harder to just really try to do the show. I miss this. <laughs> Me too. The show has sort of ruined me in the best way because it has been the best job of my life. <laughs> I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just make our way past all the set deck stuff and right outside of the set deck department is the Dunphy House. So this is where Phil, Claire, Haley, Alex, and Luke live, and now Dylan and the twins live here as well. A lot of people ask me, which step is the broken step? Fix that step. And the answer to that is nobody really knows. Fix that step. Ty, I personally think he just tripped up the steps, and he's such a great actor that it made it into the show. And then throughout the series, he constantly makes references to, oh, I gotta fix that step. I gotta fix that step. This is their kitchen. Everything in here is completely practical. No matter what you try and open, there will be something in there. I do always like to point out that things have expired in 2010. Um, they basically stocked this fridge and then never looked back. Rats. Yeah. Oh, Somebody had a party here over the weekend that I guess uh, took a notch out of the floor, so I'm going to get my best painter on it. It's Rod Stewart. I don't know if you guys realize that. This is tinted wax. Made for furniture, but it serves a purpose here. I've been the lead painter on the show since season two. I remember at the time, I hate to admit it, but I hadn't heard of the show. But my daughter was a huge fan. So she said, Dad, you better take this thing because it's going to go far. Ten years later, and she was absolutely right. Uh, five or less, five or less, I'll call you when the band's here. Today is a very jam-packed day. 